Oh my god, guys, I was supposed to review this movie last week, but I was like way too busy last weekend to even put my mind towards filming and reviewing this movie. I will not burden you with the details of why I was so busy last weekend, but know that, uh... It rhymes with cocaine. Beauty and the Beast is a live action adaptation of Beauty and the Beast from back in the day. You know, that classic animated movie from Disney. And the story here is the same one that it was in the animated version. There is a prince who lives in a castle who is a pretty much a selfish douchebag. One day, selfish douchebag gets punished for being a selfish douchebag by a witch. He gets turned into this ugly, hideous beast and cursed to live out the rest of his days as an ugly, hideous beast, unless he falls in love. Enter Belle. Belle is this really cute ass chick and she finds herself imprisoned in the castle along with the beast and the rest of his loyal subjects. And then, you know, she starts to she not she starts to recognize that okay, the beast has got some game. I like the way he's spitting at me. And ultimately, he has to fall in love with her before the last petal on a rose drops and okay, you 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 know this. You've seen this before, right? It's probably punishment for me doing this review so late that my voice is starting to go in and out. I, I have no idea why. It probably has something to do with that cocaine. That I was uh, <clears throat> busy with last week. <laughs> I am just kidding, kids. Say no to drugs. Please say no to drugs. Let's get on with the review. I really enjoyed this movie, and I'm going to start off talking about the production value of this movie. When you're taking a movie like Beauty and the Beast, which is an animated adaptation from back in the day, and you're bringing it to the big screen, I've already seen everything that I'm going to see with this movie. There's really nothing new. There's really nothing. I mean, it's predictable. I know exactly how the story goes. It's really just seeing it with real people instead of seeing it in a cartoon. Because of that, I look to see production value. I look to see how the movie is helmed. I look to see how it's filmed, how it's shot, how the performances are. All of that stuff is really what I'm going to this movie for. From that standpoint, Beauty and the Beast has excellent production value. It really does. This movie is gorgeous to look at. I mean, it is gorgeous the cinematography is great the locations the sets everything about this movie visually from the cg on the beast everything it just looks really 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 good that jungle book did this last year where it just created this really beautiful looking movie with gorgeous amazing visuals and it really brought me into the world of that movie same thing with beauty and the beast everything from the castle to the wolves costumes everything about this movie from a production design standpoint is almost flawless i also gotta say that the performances in this movie are pretty good too emma watson i've been a fan of emma watson for a really long time i actually think she's a really talented actress and i was really looking forward to seeing how she would tackle the role of bell after having seen the movie i don't think anybody could have been bell i, I really don't i don't think anybody could have been bell the way that she was bell it was almost perfect i mean she really did capture that spirit that compassion that energy that bell brought in the animated series same thing goes for the main guy who played the beast I I'm really bad with names, so I'm forgetting his name right now. I believe it's the same actor who plays the main lead on Legion, that FX show that's on right now. He was really good too, and you really did feel the torment that he felt. They really captured the torment and the pain of the beast, you know, as he's this really big, ugly dude who, you know, can still spit game to the ladies, and that's why Bell's, you know, trying to holler at him right now. Everybody else, Luke Evans as Gaston, he's a bastard. You already knew that he was going to be a bastard as soon as you saw him in the trailer, like, let's kill the beast. I like Luke Evans as an actor he plays a douchebag really well he's a really good douchebag in this movie i feel like i can't say too much about this movie that people haven't said about the animated movie in the past so i think we're just gonna move on at this point The only real negatives I can find about this movie is that it doesn't really compare to the animated movie in terms of flow and in terms of the song value and, and stuff like that. Songs in this movie are really good, I just don't think they're performed at the same level of the animated movie. If you're comparing it as a companion piece to the original, it just really doesn't hold up. But that's a nitpick, I can't really fault the movie for that. It is a direct live adaptation, so there really isn't... A whole lot of creativity there and it really isn't in a lot of room for the story to go beyond what you've already seen the appeal for this movie is in the production value and the visuals in this movie are just mwah, 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 mwah. Perfecto. I won't say that I love it only because I'm a sucker for old animated Disney classics and I can't rate it above that one but overall I would say Beauty and the Beast is really good and I'm gonna give it the high end of the Man of Steel But I would let Emma Watson tame this beast any day that she wanted. I really would. All right, guys, sorry for the late review. I should have reviewed this last week, but again, you know, stuff. Please like and subscribe to the show. And as always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. And stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.